I think that in any racing engine, the nearer you are to it disintegrating, in general, the better its performance will be. Um, when you come on to fuel economy uh, as your thing, it's been very convenient uh, when you've got lots of fuel. The easiest thing to do to get yourself out of trouble is to run basically rich and then momentary weakness due to any control inaccuracy or failure doesn't cause catastrophic failure. Um, the temperature tends to go up in your exhaust and all the things as you run weak and throw more fuel in, or water is a good way of dropping your temperatures. As soon as you get onto economy, you can't afford to uh, throw fuel in for cooling. Therefore, you have to try and put in exactly the right amount of fuel then if you have any failure or on your um, engine management system to provide that right amount of fuel and it goes uh, marginally weak from the weak position that you're already trying to run for economy, uh, you can melt your turbine in a second or melt a valve or a piston and you're out of the race. That can be seen fairly regularly. Hey, Kiwi. Kiwi. Yes. Which way's on on the steering wheel? It's smart. Oh, it's sort of right. Is meant to be about 60, somewhere in that cord, all right? Okay. And what's it uh, running temperature if it's below a certain thing? Uh, I really want to be above 80. Yeah, so if it doesn't, have to come in and put yeah, some more tape on it, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just asked uh, Dick, he said about, about 80 and uh, oil pressure 60.
Sounds good. Excellent. Really? Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Very nice. Super. Very good. 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 Because you were obviously trying things. Yes, yeah, try to do some peek out, try to find out if I had uh, some kind of a dips and valleys in the, the swallow yeah. response. Yeah. Uh, no such things. When you go down fairly low in red, it just picks up nicely. It's going to be, it's very progressive. It's very, very smooth. Uh, the boost behavior is also very, uh, very responsive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it varies, it goes down 2.6 back to 3 instantly. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's very linear. There's no. Uh, it responds very well on the downshift. It's uh, also, well, when you are third gear or fourth gear with the backup, instead of having a big gap and quite a bit of lag, it, uh, there is a little bit of a dip initially, then just picks up from there on quite uh, nicely. Um, sounds crisp, feels crisp. Um, I think it's uh, very good.